What is going on everyone? Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Nick Heller and I'm a full-time photographer here in Cleveland, Ohio. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I just wanna show you guys what I'll be bringing into 2022, whether it's weddings, commercial stuff, real estate, whatever else to make sure I'm successful. But before we begin, I wanted to remind you guys that I'm not bragging about the gear that I have. I'm just showing you guys what makes myself and my business successful. So don't go thinking that what I have is what you need to have. Work with what you have and then when you build your business, you can build your gear. So other than that, let's get into it. So let's talk about my tripod here. So this is the InnoRel RT80C carbon fiber tripod. I've had this for about three years now and it is absolutely incredible. Uh, the ball head is great. The quality is fantastic for the price. Um, and I'll be linking everything below. I know Amazon will probably have some really good Black Friday deals. So all the products that I am gonna show today will be linked below. And now new this year is Pelican cases. I have one for my camera stuff and then one for my lighting stuff. But this is the Pelican Air 1605. These are just insane. Um, I do a lot of traveling now with my weddings and stuff. So I wanted something that can really protect my gear and this is it. So we will go ahead and open this up. And there is everything this year. So up here on top is just a, pretty much just a foam pad that protects the top of everything. And now we'll get into the little accessories and then get into the fun stuff, okay? So right here, I just have my batteries. I have two extra batteries with two cases here per camera. So two extra batteries per camera. And then I also do have two Canon chargers for on location charging, just in case I need that. Now right here, this is my CF Express reader right here, and then my SD card reader, and then just a tripod plate here, and then also an L bracket. This is my five terabyte Lacey drive. Might be saying that wrong. So this is for my second shooter photos to dump on. Um, and then I also back up my wedding photos also once I deliver the gallery. So this is very handy to have. And it's the rugged version, so it's very nice to have if you're a little bit more rugged. This is my CF case. I have six CF Express cards. And again, same thing for my SD cards. I use SanDisk 128 gigabytes. And now right here, this is just protein bars because on wedding days, it gets long and you get very hungry. And then just cleaning stuff. So I got some Zeiss lens wipes. These are also great to have. Of course, a lens cloth and a little air blower. And also in here, I just have a multi-tool and just a razor, just in case. Now, since I shoot so many weddings and events, I do have a dual camera harness. This is by the brand Koiro. I did a review on this, so I will link this below, but you don't need to spend money on the money maker when they have this brand and it's a third less. Maybe I got this for, I think $70, $80. And the quality is just fantastic. It's genuine leather and it doesn't hurt my back or anything because these pads are really nice, but I will definitely link this below if you guys are interested. And then also by Koiro, this is just a single camera strap. Now this is when, you know, I just have to have one body. So when the reception goes on, I usually just switch to one body and uh, this is what I use. And just two business card cases right here with my weddings and my commercial business cards. Now let's get into the fun stuff. So right here, I have a Canon R5 with a battery grip on it. I can't say enough good things about this camera, especially for weddings. It's absolutely incredible. And there's a ton of reviews on YouTube to give it a watch, but these things, uh, there's something else. Canon really uh, did a great job with their mirrorless line. So this has the battery grip on it and that's that. And then I also have another R5, which I'm filming on right now and that also has a battery grip. And now for my array of lenses right here. So right here, this is the RF 15 to 35 F2.8. Again, I'm filming on it, so this is a great lens for real estate and landscape stuff, which I use a lot. And then right here is my 24 to 70 RF. Again, you can't go wrong with this. This is a workhorse lens for anyone, whether you're doing weddings or not. Um, you can't go wrong with this lens. And then my primes, I have the Canon RF 50 1.2. This is my go-to lens for, I'll say pretty much the entire day. This is just incredible. I mean, at 1.2, you can do a lot of low light stuff, which is a plus for weddings. Then right next to that is the 85 RF 1.2. I'll be honest, I do not use this that much. 
I've actually contemplated selling it, but um, I think I'm gonna hold on to it for just a little bit longer. But again, this lens is also very nice when I do use it. Then right here is the Canon RF 100 macro. I'm so happy they brought out a macro. I was using the EF version, which was good, but this is also just as good. Um, I don't like the SA control. I'll be honest, I don't use it at all for weddings. But um, other than that, it's a great lens. And then last but not least is the RF 7200 f2.8 version. Again, unless you're a prime shooter, this is a must for receptions for weddings and portraits too. It's a really great lens for that stuff too. So uh, another great lens by Canon. And there we go. That is my camera case. If you stuck around this far, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below with any questions. I would love to answer your questions and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.